A lot of fathers out there that want to play a role in their kids' lives. And um, it's a lot of mothers that won't let them play that role in their kids' lives, man. You know what I'm saying? It's for the simple fact that this guy probably didn't want to be with her because she did some foul shit. And he wanted to move on with his life. And he found somebody that he wanted to love and be with. And uh, she got a problem with it. And she tripping and she doing everything that she can to make his life miserable. You know, won't let him see his kids. And she trying to fucking get him arrested. And she she causing havoc and shit. She coming over there scratching up his car, her car. And busting out windows and all kind of stupid shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it, and it, and in in reality it takes it away from the kid, man. It takes it away from that baby. Once it takes it away from that child, you know that 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 causes a lot of these kids to be fucked up today, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they the parents can't get along and they so fucked up in the head, man. These kids don't have no fucking identity today. Period. You know what I'm saying? I got three baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? My wife, she was my first. We had four kids together, you know what I'm saying? She 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 passed away and everything. She rest in heaven and stuff like that. But no matter what me and her went through, we always made sure we both took care of those fucking kids. No matter what, you know what I'm saying? When she passed away, it was my job to be there and be the nurturer for my kids to get them grown. Now they're all grown, big kids. You know what I'm saying? And then I got another daughter and I got another son. And um, for my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I pay child support, but I didn't bitch about it. I ain't cry about it. Shit, that's my motherfucking daughter. I know I can't see her every day because she stays, you know what I'm saying, up in the valley. You know what I'm saying? But when I do see her, we spend time together and we together and we talk on the phone and we communicate with each other. You know what I'm saying? But while she's there with her mom and her stepdad, you know what I'm saying? But that's still my child. So making, making sure she got money, Making sure she getting clothes, getting her hair done and all that shit. I don't mind doing that because that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Shit, fuck that. I put my kids before me. And that's what a lot of men need to start fucking focusing on. Is putting their kids before them. If you're not getting along with the baby mama nigga, get your ass up. Do your fucking homework. Get your fucking paperwork together. And go after her ass. You have to show these people that you want to be a father. And you know what? In the actuality, man, it really shouldn't even come to that. The motherfucking court system shouldn't even be in the middle of y'all shit. If, if so, it's not always fucking simple and it's not always fucking perfect. I know this shit, man. But women got to be or start being fucking vindictive. Fathers need to step up to the motherfucking plate and handle their fucking business. If she in a relationship with another nigga, so what? That's her business. Your child is your business. Same thing. If he got another girl and he fucking another girl, that's his business. And if he's taking care of his child, that's his business. Don't take his business away from him because you don't like his other business. You can't fucking do that. Stop being so fucking bitter. Because y'all shit didn't work. It's a blessing that you probably wasn't even with the nigga no more anyway. Shit, you, you know, disrespecting you or calling you a bitch or beating your ass. Dragging you up and down the street and shit. Cheating on you, giving you STDs and all that shit. It's probably a fucking blessing that you're probably not with the nigga no more. But stop putting the kids in the middle of shit. Y'all parents got to stop putting the kids in the middle of y'all shit, man. Bottom fucking line. These kids don't deserve this shit, man. 
That's why you got all these little young boys out here fucking gay. Acting fucking gay. And I ain't got shit against gay people neither. You are what you are. You do what you do. That's your fucking preference. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not gay. I like women. Shit, but... A lot of these kids are growing up confused, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of females just being... Acting like... They want to act like they boys. And you got a lot of females and shit that don't have morals for themselves... And they're growing up and disrespecting their bodies. You know what I'm saying? Getting pregnant at a young age. Getting AIDS at a young age. Getting STDs at a young age because there's nobody there, you know, to teach them. Because it's bitterness between two parents that can't get along. You know what I'm saying? You can you can you can make it together if you work together. It's not hard. You know, like I said, if you're not together no more, so what? Both of y'all motherfuckers gotta take responsibility and take care of that fucking child, man. The fucking child is what needs both parents more than any motherfucking thing. You know, if the father wanna be a deadbeat nigga, then shit, so be it. It's it's in a woman's right to fucking go down there and report his ass. Because he ain't taking care of his motherfucking responsibility. Whatever happens to that man that's a deadbeat dad, he gets... Actually, he deserves what the fuck he gets coming to him, man. Straight the fuck up. There's no motherfucking excuses to be a motherfucking father. There's no motherfucking excuses, man. Even if you got to do the shit financially or make a motherfucking phone call, there are absolutely no motherfucking excuses to be a deadbeat motherfucking father. Nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck if I work, hustle, went out there and fucking went in the garbage can and picked cans, nigga. I'm going to make sure I'm taking care of something for my kids. I'm not finna be buying no jewelry. I'm not finna be buying no new car. I'm not finna be buying me no new Jordans, no 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 Under Armour. I'm not buying shit unless my kids is taken care of first. Straight up. It's summertime now. Gonna come. I know what I gotta do. My son's mama don't have to ask me to do shit. I know he needs fucking summer clothes. He already got his summer shoes together. He already got his summer clothes ready. He's good to go. That's just fucking teamwork. As parents, we're not together, but we know what we have to do as parents. You know what I'm saying? I provide him with his food, I provide him with his clothes, I provide him with being a father to him, spending time with him, talking to him, teaching him how to be a man. And his mother is there nurturing him, loving him, comforting him, being a mother to him, feeding him. You know what I'm saying? Making sure his hygiene is on point. Making sure he's reading his books, making sure he's educated. Making sure he's 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 uplifting his mind. And me and her ain't even together, but we get along perfectly fine. And we don't hate each other. We don't argue. We don't bitter, bicker, nothing. Uh, if I'm with another female, she, she ain't in my business. She with another dude, I'm not in her business. You know what I'm saying? Because what we used to do was in the past. You know what I'm saying? She move on, I move on. She's fucking someone else, I'm fucking somebody else. That's it and that's all. You know what I'm saying? Mature adults on some mature shit. And our child is happy. He's not depressed. He's not sad. He's not getting in trouble in school. You know what I'm saying? He ain't coming home with bad grades. You know what I'm saying? He's well-mannered. And he do what he's told. And he handles his business. Young man. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. Kicking it with your homies and all that shit. Y'all, you, nigga, you can do that some other time, nigga. Go get your baby. Take her to the park. Take him to the beach. That don't cost no motherfucking money. Time... With your kids is priceless. Remember that shit. 
It ain't nothing like spending time with your kids to see something that you made, to see something and be involved with something that you helped create. That is the best fucking feeling in the world, man. You can't fucking beat that for nothing in the world. That's the most priceless shit ever, dog. That any motherfucking man can go through and have in their life. To see me watch my kids come out of their mama's wounds and to watch them grow and progress, develop their own minds, their own personalities, their own habits, their own ways, their own likes, their dislikes, everything, man. That's a fucking blessing, man. It don't get no fucking better than that shit, dude. But no matter what you're going through in your life between a man and a woman, like I said, there's two sides to every story. Good, good shit, bad shit on both sides. And as an adult, you have to be responsible for your actions. Whether you male or female. Because let's be honest, man. Females do foul shit too. Just as much as these men do. You know what I'm saying? When when did we stop respecting each other? When we started disrespecting one another. We started verbally abusing one another. We started physically hurting one another. And we we're being spiteful to each other. And disloyal to one another and trust issues are a problem it, it just it's crazy man there's so many broken black homes in America and we can fix the problem if we want to but life is so life is so simple now you know people feel free to just do whatever they feel what they want to do man you know, cheating, cheating, cheating and shit, man, that shit's a big fucking problem. And and, and motherfuckers know hey, the the best the best pussy or the best dick to get is from motherfuckers that know you in a relationship. Because a motherfucker that you fucking on the outside that know you in a relationship, know you know what I'm saying, they ain't finna get up in your shit. Straight up. And if you if you if you if you feel you gotta do shit like that all the time, it's no sense in even being in a motherfucking relationship, let alone even having kids, man. People 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 get caught up in the physical attraction without developing the mental attraction for one another. And everybody has been a victim to that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, and my, my problem was always fucking red bones, light-skinned women. I, I like caramel and chocolate women, too. Shit, don't get me wrong. They're all beautiful shades of the spectrum. But uh, I used to be a real sucker for red bones, man. Pretty long hair and all that shit, man. Pull it on them, fuck them, all kind of shit. But shit, I never knew who those women were as a person. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't take the time to because I didn't give a fuck. Because I just wanted to fuck. Straight up. But, um, I'm gonna end this video and shit. Time for me to get up and start my day. It's about 12.30 and shit. I'm already behind time. I've just been at home relaxing. Because I finally get to relax for a change. And it's quiet. 
And nobody is here to fuck with me today. <laughs> but this is Big Bang doing his thing. I'm out. Peace.